Since Victorian times, the working class has had an annual holiday. And to the English seaside towns they go to rest and play. But now it's to the Balearics that folk want to jet away. And yet we've got a Spanish city right here in Whitley Bay. If, 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 if. <laughs> If you want exotic culture, or to learn another tongue, then try July in Whitley Bay, when the Glaswegians, they all come. <laughs> and if you want a foreign treat, you can have one every day, in the Italian ice cream parlour, on the front at Whitley Bay. Don't fret about the weather, cause there's lots of things to do. And don't forget to fetch your club card, cause we've got a CIU. <laughs> There's shuggy boats and slot machines, and crazy golf to play. Or walk to St Mary's Lighthouse, along the sands at Whitley Bay. Spanish tower block apartments, with en suites and balconies. Architectural monstrosities. I don't appeal to me. It's the traditional English boarding house I'd rather have instead. With a bathroom on each landing and a pot below each bed. <laughs> so why would you want to fly abroad in expensive aeroplanes when you can get to Whitley Bay by Sharaban or train? Eat your heart out, Freddy Laker. Thomas Cook can have a way. <laughs> Why would you go to Benidorm when you can come to Whitley Bay? Why would you go to Benidorm when you can come to Whitley Bay?